What is up everyone, this is FNH here with a brand new video to talk about how to remove the no Vulcan device driver detected error that you may be receiving on your computer. Uh, this could be on an emulator, it could be on a software, it could be on a variety of reasons and differing softwares on your computer, but we're going to do a simple quick fix that works all across the board. So let's get right into it. Um, I'm going to show it on my PlayStation 3 emulator that this is currently occurring on, so I'm going to shoot up the emulator just to show you, and I'm going to run Demon Souls. And I'm going to show you it's not going to work. So as you can see, this white screen pops up. It has this weird Vulcan thing on the top. And in this, at the bottom, you see it says no Vulcan device created. Uh, so you can clearly see I do have an error that's occurring on this thing. Now, the way you need to fix this, and it's extremely simple, so be sure to follow precisely and all the way to the end. You're going to open up Reg Edit. Um, <laughs> if you just type in Reg in the search, it'll pop up, but it's Registry Editor. Um, I already have it open. And in here, you're going to be very careful. Do not touch anything aside from what I'm about to mention. So please be careful. You're going to go to H key local machine. You're going to open that up. You're going to open up software. And under software, you're going to open up Kronos. Under Kronos, you're going to open up Vulkan. And in Vulkan, you're going to click on drivers. In here, uh, I'm going to copy this link and I'm going to show you exactly how I got it. You're going to take this link, which is essentially the nv-vk64.json file. This is what's essentially missing from this folder. You're going to right click in here. You're going to create a new dword 32 bit value file, which is this one. That thing I copied, you just place it in here. Double click inside, make sure the value is zero. Base is hexadecimal and press OK. That is all you need to do. And I'm just going to show you that this does work. I don't know if I have to restart the... Oh, I double clicked it. I don't know if that, that's bad. Um, as you can see, a bunch of stuff is happening at the bottom, but Demon Souls is now launching. This game is working and it works perfectly fine. I don't really want to stay because the load screen takes a while. Um, you can see the FPS is disgusting at this point, <laughs> but it gets better as time moves on. Um, I'm not going to say. I'm going to close it out for now. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this does work. Now, the main thing on... Where did I get this piece from? Now, I will leave up till here a link in the uh, or in the description, this piece here. What you need to do is open a new Windows folder over here, copy and paste that in here. You can just do that. And what you need to search for is this. This is going to be different every single file. So if you take, if I give you this, it's not going to work. It's going to fail for you guys. You're going to take this last piece, this nv-vk64.json. You're going to search it in this repository file and you'll find it you'll find two of them so you just gonna have to make sure which one it is i personally think both of them will work i could be wrong you can try both and see give it a shot um but you can't just take the thing obviously what you need to do is right click into this and click open file location once you do that you'll see it it's the one that's 64. uh once you have this you'll obviously have the um the file location there and then you can just add on the not this one it's the backslash uh, oops, sorry. It's the backslash, and then you can just write exactly this nv vk 64json and it'll work. That's what you need to do. So be sure to follow these steps for sure, so you can get it. I'll, like I said, I'll leave a link for this in the description, so you guys can copy paste this into any Windows folder, and you'll be easily able to access this specific folder. It's just a driver that it thinks it's missing. You can recreate it, and it bypasses it. It doesn't put a fault in anything. The games then work perfectly fine. I think it's mostly for gaming, but I'm assuming some other softwares could cause issues with this if they use this, I guess, the graphic card or those drivers. It could be completely wrong. I've just assumed it's, it's for those purposes. But yeah, overall, I do hope this was helpful and informative. If you guys have any other questions or concerns and you're stuck anywhere else, let me know in the comment section below. I'm more than happy to help and assist with you, with you there. If you guys found this video helpful and informative, please smash that like button. It helps a lot. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. Other than that, have an age out. Peace.